I am Dr. Madhav Prasad, Professor and Head Department of Veterinary Public Health and Epidemiology, Veterinary College, Shumaga. I will apprise some of the activities of our department, Veterinary Public Health and Epidemiology, related to teaching, research and extension activities. Okay. Uh, main uh, focus of our uh, department is uh, teaching and research to the veterinary graduates and postgraduates. We have undergraduate program, postgraduate program and uh, PhD programs in our department and also the research programs connected with postgraduate research as well as some of the research projects we carry out in our department. So mainly there are three components in our department where in which uh, we undertake the activities. So most of the times we may get towards veterinary science to do with the public health or human health systems. So in a way <laughs> we, our department deals with the first the foods of food quality and food safety of the foods of animal origin. So the human beings, they consume milk, meat, eggs, fish and related their product related to those aspects. Okay. So the main emphasis of our teaching and research is related to food quality and safety of these products. How a clean milk, meat, eggs and fish has to be produced. How the safety aspect of these products should be produced. Okay how the supply chains of these activities have to be maintained, what are the different quality control parameters, quality assurance parameters, how it can be um, implemented at the forum level, animal forum level, processing plant level, retail shop and the entire distribution system, how consumer health can be ensured. All these aspects uh, uh, they are included in the curriculum and we teach the students both undergraduate students as well as postgraduate students the another important area we focus on the genosis okay so genosis means most of the animals they suffer from, from uh, infectious disease suffer from infectious diseases uh, majority of them they say that more than 70 percent of these infectious diseases they are easily transmitted to human beings okay so that means the animals they act as reservoirs of many of the human infectious diseases okay so we will give much of the emphasis with respect to study of these genetic uh, diseases to say some example rabies brucellosis tuberculosis things like that there are variety of them even including the wildlife uh, diseases genetic diseases and animals and human beings we know that they share common space the interfaces are common and most of the diseases can be easily transmitted from animals to human beings via the animals with the direct contact through occupations or through the products of the animals. So we will give emphasis on teaching, research and extension of these zoonotic diseases. The one more area is the diagnostics of these diseases. We teach the students the various diagnostic uh, tests available for the uh, diagnosis of these diseases, the sample collections, how it should be processed, when it should be processed, uh, how long it can be preserved, how to interpret and various uh, diagnostic uh, tests which are important for the diagnosis of these diseases. The, so the other thing is epidemiology. Epidemiology means the study of uh, the diseases in the animal populations itself so that we will know the trend, the pattern and frequency of so many other things and other things so a decision can be arrived at at the population level. So study of the epidemiology of the diseases also is one of the very important area of veterinary public health and epidemiology. So these aspects also we teach to the students both undergraduate, postgraduate and other things. So apart from this the environmental aspects so most of the time water related diseases, water borne diseases, soil borne diseases. So these aspects also we will emphasize including the conservation of biodiversity and other things. So mostly the soil, animal premises, processing plant, food processing plant premises, disposal of animal carcasses, wastes and other things we will focus on the environment apart from the feed quality control and assurance. Okay. So these are the main areas or activities of our department which are directly linked to animal health as well as human health.
Dr. Rashi Yu. I am a BVSC and MVSC graduate. I have uh, graduated uh, uh, BVSC from uh, Veterinary College Shumoga and I have uh, taken degree in uh, MVSC uh, in the Department of Veterinary Microbiology uh, from the Veterinary College uh, Manuti. Uh, presently, I am working as an assistant professor on contractual basis in Department of Veterinary Public Health and Epidemiology in Veterinary, Veterinary College, Shumaga. Here, I, I take classes to the UG student, undergraduate students. So, uh, here I will be dealing with most, uh, mostly in uh, meat and milk hygiene and also epidemiology aspect of the, uh, epidemiology of aspect of the diseases and the zoonotic diseases. Uh, zoonotic diseases. So since uh, meat born and uh, milk born diseases are uh, occurring in a, a large scale, uh, large scale nowadays, so more importance should be given to the milk and uh, uh, milk and meat aspect. So even uh, even the diseases nowadays are spreading uh, very rapidly. Uh, like zoonotic, more than 50% uh, or 60% of the diseases is uh, zoonotic. Hence, uh, in this course, we'll be dealing more of uh, those. Uh, those diseases where uh, it will be spreading from uh, animals to humans, humans and animals. So uh, this department is uh, most importantly uh, for the milk and meat hygiene and also for the zoonotic and epidemiological study of the diseases. So we should not further continue with the processing at all. And next thing is to assess the keeping quality of the meat. Same as quality of meat, keeping quality. See, uh, meat is very, uh, very much, uh, what is it? Very much easily can be spoiled. So this is also act as a medium for growth of many microorganisms, or even for rancidity or all those things and all. The spoil, the spoiling will be. Uh, uh, so we have to assess the keeping quality of the meat and to supply clean and uh, receive free meat. 